Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I am testing out probably the most hyped up foundation I have seen in a, just a really long time. It's this, it's the Kat Von D Good Apple Foundation. I've seen so many TikToks, so many Instagram videos, so many YouTube videos. I've had you guys DM me about how good it was. I've had my friends DM me about how good it is. So I'm trying it out for myself today. And it's like my skin knew that I was trying out a new foundation today because I have broken out. I've been squeezing my face as well, which is probably why I'm breaking out. But to be honest, I'm not mad about that because it means that this foundation's got to work a whole lot harder. So can't, I'm just gonna have a little conversation with it here. Uh, can you cover this up? Everyone seems to think that you can. Am I okay? Am I actually nuts? Sorry, where were we? Um, can you do this? Can you fix this and stuff? I think I'm actually losing it now. I'm gonna have a conversation with this inanimate object off camera. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try this out today. We're gonna wear it for as long as possible. Gonna get the macro camera involved. I'm also gonna be using it with a sponge and then also a brush because I've seen most people use it with just a brush. So yeah, let's see if the Good Apple Foundation is worth all the hype. Let's go. Oh, look, green nails green neon light in the background. I did that on purpose, but this is just a happy accident. So they sent three shades over to me. I'm pretty fair at the moment, so I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Light 018. I have a card that they sent with the PR package as well. So it says, fully recyclable, full coverage foundation for normal to dry skin. It's 29 pounds, which obviously isn't the cheapest, but I feel like you'd probably buy a bottle of foundation for around that same kind of price for a lot of brands like this. And yeah, so it's full coverage with a fresh matte finish, lightweight and buildable coverage that can even cover tattoos. I got those, we'll put that to the test as well. It says it's infused with apple extract, sodium hyaluronate to hydrate and nourish the skin. And yeah, it also says that it has no mirror, no magnets, no metal, um, so it's 100% recyclable, which is cool. So the packaging is actually really, really nice. Like I've seen a lot of kind of like recyclable products now, like a lot of companies starting to do them. And a lot of the time, you do have to sacrifice on the way that the product looks or the way that it kind of feels in terms of like sturdiness, but this actually looks really, really good. So it looks like this on the close up. You can see it's quite like a, I mean, I don't know if it necessarily makes a difference to the skin, but it's very kind of like shiny formula. And it says it's a balm. Like it's not like a cream or powder foundations, which everyone's doing at the moment and I hate it. But yeah, I'm really, really curious about this. Yeah, I'm going in with the shade 018. Doesn't have a smell. I just like to smell things. I wanna feel what kind of texture it is. Okay, it's very, very balmy. Like it actually feels like a lip balm. And the color, it looks a little bit too dark. There we go, in the pan. But actually on the swatch, it looks like it'll be pretty good. So I'm really curious about it potentially covering up my tattoo. So I'm gonna get Keith. Where is he? There he is. Let's see if we can cover up his little ear. It's gotten rid of it a lot. It's not covered it up. Let's try a bit more. I'm gonna pat it instead, maybe like a sponge. I mean, this is only fine lines. I'm not bothered if it doesn't cover my tattoos. I've got tattoos because I want to keep them on my skin. But you can see it has got, it has got pretty decent coverage, but it's not covering everything up. And that's like one of my more finer tattoos. I'm gonna go in for one more. Tap, 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 tap. I mean, they do say it's buildable, so we're kind of get. okay, maybe I'll eat my words. Keith, if you can hear me. Sorry, I know you've only got one ear right now. Here I am talking to more things that can't talk back. So yeah, I wouldn't say it completely covers up tattoos. I mean, you could probably layer it up and layer it up and layer it up, but you could probably do that with like most foundations and concealers. But like you can see it's got full coverage. Um, it does seem to be oxidizing a little bit. You might be able to see in the light there, it has gone a little bit darker. But yeah, I suppose if you keep going in with it, it will eventually kind of cover everything. But I'm not sure how realistic that is. Cause I mean, I, I put on like six layers or something. I, I wouldn't want to use up a 29 pound foundation just covering up Keith. Come on, Keith, you can hear again now. There we go, he's back, he's back. So I'm gonna now include a macro shot of my skin just as it is right now, just a few little close-ups and stuff. I did moisturize around about an hour or so ago, so there's nothing actually like physically sort of sitting on top of my skin. So one thing I didn't actually mention before is that it comes in 40 different shades. So we have a whole load for light, medium, tan, and then also deep, you can just kind of see here. And the pro tips say, for light to medium coverage, a damp beauty sponge into the compact and powdered skin, medium to full coverage, use a dense foundation brush. Bonus, use your finger to spot conceal. We can do that. And I've seen that some people aren't even setting this. I will, cause I just, I never wear foundation without a little bit of setting powder. I only ever use a tiny bit though. But yeah, I mean, all that's really left to do is chuck on some ears. I'm going for like panda vibes today and we'll slap this on our face. Gosh, I just look so intimidating with my big man shirt, my chains and my pandas. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the shade 018. It may be a touch too dark for me. I might have to lighten it just a teeny tiny bit, but I'll put the foundation off first. So like, if I look a little bit wild, if I look too dark, I will lighten it up after just like around the perimeters of my face. But I do just wanna see how it looks without using any lightener. So I got a brush and a sponge. The a little bit dirty, but whatever. So yeah, first I'm gonna go in with the brush. So this is how I've seen everyone else apply it. I'm just gonna take a bit of that like so. All right, moment of truth. 
I gotta cover up this thing here on my face. Okay, the way it's applying, it doesn't even feel like I'm putting anything on my face, but I can see that it is covering stuff up. Like, it doesn't feel like anything on my skin at all. So I'm just gonna blend that over the rest of my face. Okay, the color actually doesn't look too bad on my face. Maybe not the perfect match, but it's like, it's good enough. It's covering everything up. It's not like super, super full coverage. Like I want more on my face here, but I can add more in a second. And it's looking quite skin-like. I feel like it's maybe looking a little bit textured on my skin, which I've not heard anyone say. And I mean, my skin, apart from like the couple of spots that I've got right now, I don't really have textured skin. My skin is pretty decent. Maybe I just need to blend it in a little bit more. Let's see. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. I'm not blown away by it right now. Like the foundation that I pretty much always use now is the Body Collection one and it's got kind of like a medium sort of coverage. That one's four pounds and I, I do like how this one looks more so far. But I'm gonna try a little bit more on my forehead. There's no doubt about the coverage though. Like it's got coverage. The thing is, I feel like because ev literally everyone is hyping this up, I'm expecting it to be just game changing. It is nice. I'm not having a single issue with it. I like how it looks, but like I know I've only done a tiny bit of my face, so I'm, I probably will change my mind in a second. But I'm not looking at this like, whoa. Because sometimes like when I see a good foundation, I'm like, this is a good one. Whereas so far, I'm just kind of thinking, I like this, but you know, when's the magic gonna happen? It does look very skin-like though. Like the comparison of the texture on my skin on this side to this side is the same. So it does just kind of look like my skin, but just completely flawless. Normally I'm like, cover it all up, make me look like airbrush and everything. So I, I get it. I will say that it blends out so easily because obviously it is like a very sort of balmy texture that it does just blend out so easily and just glide over the skin. So I'm gonna take a little bit more just because I do want to cover up that spot. I just don't know if I'm wowed by it. I, 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 I just, yep. yep. I actually really like it. I'm just kind of thinking, it's a good foundation, but why is everyone going so crazy about it? I don't know, maybe it'll look better once I've got like a full face on and I've like powdered it down and stuff. There's actually nothing bad about it. Right now I'm just kind of like struggling to see the crazy amount of hype because there's been so much hype, it's been ridiculous. I mean, you can see it's covered up quite a lot there. I. I need to do the other side. So I'm now gonna go in with the sponge, which they say gives you more of like a light to medium coverage. And I've not really seen anyone use it with a sponge, but I don't know, I f in my head, I feel like it'll kind of work better like this. So let's note the little comparison there. I mean, it, it has covered up a lot to be fair. I'm all beige out on this side and there's like a little bit of redness, little bit of like dark circles, redness around my nose a little bit, couple of spots, like, I don't know. Okay, let's try the sponge. Did I get this right? Wait, 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 wait. I'm just trying to pick up the piece of paper with my feet. Come on, long toes, don't fail me now. <coughs> Got it. Yeah, they say if you use a sponge, you get a light to medium coverage. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I'm getting more coverage from the sponge than I am the brush. Okay, now I'm intrigued. Yeah, what? The sponge is, I'm, I'm digging the sponge more than I am the brush. Got a nice angry spot up there as well. I feel like the sponge side is a little bit more matte, but it's like a very sort of demi-matte and you get more full coverage. The brush side looks to be a little bit more dewy and it doesn't seem as full coverage to me. There's really not that much in it at all, to be honest, but um, I wanna see if I can cover up the spot with the sponge this way. It has got bloody good coverage though. In like a very sort of natural looking way, obviously with my lights right now, it looks very, very glowy and I just look shiny as hell. But yeah, the coverage on this, considering I am using the tiniest, tiniest amount, it is nuts, really. I'm just like rolling my sponge in it and you can see it's picking up so much product. So I'm just gonna add a bit more coverage because they said it's buildable. I'm going full coverage today because I mean, when something says it's buildable, I'm like, okay, how buildable? I'm gonna go over my eyes. You know what? I'm actually gonna try and use this just as a concealer, like they said. It's definitely oxidizing. Like, can you see that there on my neck? I'm just gonna go like all the way down to my belly button, you know? Definitely enough coverage to conceal, cause I mean, I had some foundation under my eyes anyway, but look at the difference there. So one more quick little roll and put that underneath. Okay, so so far I look like I've literally just been splashed in the face with a whole load of foundation. The coverage is there. They weren't lying about the coverage. Like they say medium to full coverage when you use it with a brush. I think it's just full coverage and then even fuller coverage if you want it. And I want it. I'm just blending it all out right now. And 
I don't really know unless you wore like a tiny, tiny amount. I don't really know how people are wearing this without setting it down because it is a very, very oily looking. But dude, the coverage is no joke. But you know what is a joke? It are these little pieces of my hair. Now I've seen a couple of people, like I said, try this out and I've seen that it's good coverage. This is, oh, like where did the coverage come from in this tiny little pan of foundation? I'm gonna go over it with the other side of my sponge just to soak up any excess product. I'm a little bit scared of my own appearance right now. Like Halloween's not for a while now. I am literally just clay woman. But you know what? I'm excited about putting powder on this and just doing the rest of my face because I feel like it it has potential to look really, really good. I don't really know how people are wearing it without powder. Like fair enough, you only use a teeny tiny, teeny tiny bit, but even then you still get a whole load of coverage. But like I just, I couldn't not powder this down. It It's very, very oily looking. I mean, I know I've got a whole load of light surrounding me, but you can still just see on the skin that it is so, so oily looking. Like I've got to powder this down. I'm actually gonna take a tiny little bit of the product and just tap this over the top of my spot. Like this said I could. I mean, my spot's pretty much covered up, which is all I could really ask for. Okay, so for powder, I'm of course gonna be using my Laura Mercier one, which is the powder that I use all the time because I find it works with the majority of foundations that I've ever really tried. They do say on the card to use it with the Locket powder, and I actually do really, really love that powder, but I don't know. I'm always very skeptical when it's like, you know, wear it with this powder, and I'm like, how many people's full face is just entirely one brand? So I'm gonna use the powder that I use most often, which is Laura Mercier. And I'm gonna take my Spotlight Duster from Sigma and I'm just gonna go over my under eyes just to get rid of any creasing. So I'm not really taking much powder at all. Okay, and let's just set it all down. Not gonna lie, the under eyes don't look as good as I was hoping they would look. Like I got the coverage and everything and it was almost kind of giving me the same sort of coverage that I would get from my Bye Bye Under Eye. But I don't really know if I'm into that. Do the other eye. I'm not really using much powder either because I hate it when things look too matte. It might be great as a foundation. As a concealer, which to be fair to me, they did say you could use it as that. I'm not feeling it. God damn it. Am I going to be like the only person on the internet that's just not in love with this? I hope I like it like all over my face. So I'm going to take a little bit more powder on a big fluffy brush and let's go. Come on, please be good. I don't think I like it. Don't get me wrong, there's elements of it that I do like, but I mean, I'm using, I've already got it on my brush, but I'll just show you in the lid. I'm using about this much powder, literally, like that much to do an entire half of my face. So it's not like I'm mattifying it down loads. I might have to take it off my under eyes. They look, what? I'm not too mad at it. Like fair enough, it's not a concealer, but it says that I can use it as a concealer. So I've used it as a concealer and I don't like it. Let's do my forehead here. I promise you now, I prefer the four pound body collection foundation, which is also vegan to this. Like, I don't get it. Honestly, I really don't get it. I mean, the under eyes is a definite no for me. Here's like another TikTok trend. Just dark circles under your eyes. I'm gonna use my Bye Bye Under Eye instead because that stuff never fails me. So the foundation was giving me the same kind of coverage as Bye Bye Under Eye, but when I powdered down Bye Bye Under Eye, it doesn't look cakey or anything. I'm just not really feeling it right now, to be honest. Like, on camera from far away, it looks all right. I've got a whole load of coverage, I've got a little bit of glow. But like, if I take it over to the macro camera right now, my cheek looks fine, my cheek looks great. But then we kind of get around to like my chin area and it does just look really textured. I have a couple of bumps on there. No one's skin is like 2D, that would be so weird. But I feel like it's really kind of emphasizing those bumps that I have on my chin and there's like four. I don't even think that constitutes as like textured skin. It's just a couple of bumps. I'm gonna ask Ollie's opinion. He's seen me wear like countless foundations. He'd seen the good, the bad, the ugly. So I wanna hear his thoughts on this one. Tell me what you think of my face. Uh, what am I looking at? Foundation. Bad. 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 What's bad about it? It looks like grainy. Grainy. Like, like around your chin and around your nose. That's what I'm saying here, isn't it? It's like, you know when mud dries a little bit? <laughs> yeah. And it goes like, kind of like... The Dry. Drier, the drier the mud gets, the more like porous it looks. Yeah, it's like... And it looks thick, it looks thick. It doesn't look like a smooth... Everyone loves it. Everyone's raving about it. It's gone viral and I'm... I, I feel like I'm the only person that doesn't like it. It's crap. Maybe it's good with all the other stuff on. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it looks like with everything else on, but okay. Good to know I'm not being crazy or like not trying to be harsh or anything because, you know, some people might think that I'm trying to be different, have like a different opinion. Um, 
you heard it from Ollie. He's seen me wear a lot of foundations. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's as bad as what Ollie was saying, but it's just like, it looks like half matte, half dewy, but not even like a dewy part of my face. It's like there's just speckles of matte and speckles of dewy, and it's very confusing to me. Always count on Ollie to give like the most honest reviews. So I'm not gonna do my full face on camera, but I do just wanna apply like contour and bronzer and stuff. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Too Faced chocolate bronzer. It's gone like oily around my nose. Like what's happening? I just powdered that bit down. My skin is like really, really normal as well. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I'm really hoping something suddenly happens and right at the end I'm like, I look amazing. I don't really have any like proper, proper skin concerns. Like my pores are quite small. I don't have too many lines. Don't really have much texture either. This is making me look like I have all of those things. Like not bad, but more so the normal. Like my pores are emphasized on my nose. The texture is emphasized on my chin. I feel like I'm just missing something. Like, yeah, it's like, wow, coverage. Doesn't, like, it doesn't actually feel like anything on my skin, which is a very, very good part of it. Like, it really does feel very, very weightless. But I'm just kind of like, viral? Really? Everyone loves it? Why? So I'm gonna take some of my Mac Give Me Sun. And just warm my face up a touch. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, it's really not that bad, but for the amount of hype this has gotten, I'm just like, why? Yeah, it's got coverage. Yeah, it feels very, very lightweight, but the finished result isn't like great. Oh man. I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup off camera. I just don't understand the hype. Like the foundation's not that bad, but for the amount of hype that it's gotten, I'm just like, why? What? I don't, I don't get it. Again, I know it probably looks great on this camera right here, but I will insert a ton of clips on the macro to show you guys how it looks, because if you saw what I'm seeing, it, I'm just confused. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Dude, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go and do the rest of my face and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, hello, full face on, did my hair a little bit. Definitely looks a lot better now I've got a full face on. But to me, it just kind of looks like I haven't set down my foundation properly and I set it down multiple times on camera. I set it down a couple of times when I was doing my makeup. It just looks like I'm all about dewy. I, I would much rather look oily than matte, but it's gone from like, it looked quite matte originally, and now it just looks like, I'm trying to move my face so it's not just my cheekbones you guys can see, but like everywhere just looks a little bit oily. Like I've powdered down everywhere so much, more than I normally would, and it's just shiny. In person, it's not that bad. I'm still noticing all of the sort of like texture and everything that I was before. So I like it a tiny little bit more than I did before I put like the rest of my face on, but I'm still, I don't get the hype, like at all. So it's currently 11.14 in the morning. I'm gonna just do my usual thing. I might stream a little bit in a minute, and by stream a little bit, probably be like another four, five hour stream like it normally is, which by the way, if you don't follow me, follow me on Twitch. I stream like most days of the week now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna wear this for a while. I'm gonna include macro shots and everything of how it looked on my skin right now. And I'm gonna try and wear it for as long as possible. I'm kind of thinking until like midnight-ish. You know, try and get a full 12 hour wear in or something. I just don't really understand. It's it's okay, but why is, ev why is everyone talking about it? Like, everyone. So yeah, gonna do my thing, uh, build some stuff on Minecraft, gonna go to the nether later on, and um, you probably don't care, but I'm gonna get some nether quartz. That's my mission for today. And yeah, I'll wear this for the rest of the day, and I will check back with you guys later. Just later. I just don't really understand. I want to understand, but I don't. I don't get it. All right, guys, it is quite a while later, and you know I've been streaming. If you ever see me doing like check-ins and I'm missing these three nails, it's because these are the ones that I game with on my keyboard, so I feel like I'm like Katniss Everdeen right now. I just wanna say, I love streaming so much. I know a lot of you probably aren't here to listen to me talk about streaming, but I love streaming so much. I've just come off it. I was feeling a little bit just not great beforehand. I've come off it and I'm just like, my non-existent heart is just like, ow. But yeah, excuse the nails. Uh, it's just what I do now, now that I'm like a pro gamer. So it's currently a quarter to one in the morning. I like to stream late, what can I say? Let's have a look at my face. So I wanna eat my words a little bit. I really, really wasn't that keen on it when I first applied the foundation, but how it's wearing right now, I mean, I've had it on for 
over 12 hours, like probably like close to 13 hours. And it doesn't look perfect. It looks a little bit oily. It looks a little bit worn. Like it comes off fairly easy on my face. Like just from like taking my headphones on and off, I can see I've got like a little scrape along here. So you can see that it does like come off quite easy. And for camera, it looks like way too shiny right now, but in person it actually looks really, really nice. So I would like to kind of eat my words a little bit here. I really wasn't into how it looked on my skin at first. And then when I did my full face, it did look better. And then a few hours after that, it started to look even better because like the oils in my skin were sort of starting to like mesh with the foundation. Don't get me wrong right now, especially for being on camera with all my lights and everything, it does look way too shiny. Like I feel like in person, I feel like in person, if I just sort of powdered down the center of my face, it would look really, really nice, very kind of dewy. And it has actually lasted really, really well. So I will be trying it out with like other powders, primers, whatever, because I feel like the I feel like I could like it. I'm not, I don't understand the full blown hype. Like I really don't get that. I think because it is like a balm foundation, whereas normally we see like creams, liquids, powders, whatever. I think because it is a little bit different. And cause obviously you can see it is super full coverage and it blends out really nicely on the skin. It's not like you're putting on a mask or anything. It's almost like it is actually like blurring away your imperfections. I mean, I've got the usual sort of wear and tear on my face. It has sunk in quite a lot in my small lines just here. And I can actually see where I've had my headphones on and I've taken them off a couple of times. Probably one of my nails has like caught my skin a little bit and just sort of almost like scrape the foundation off my face. So I don't think it's overly long wearing if you're like touching your face or anything. But to be honest, like in a lot of places on my face, it actually does kind of look better than what it did before. Like my chin now, because it's gotten a little bit more oily and a little bit more dewy, it looks way better than it did before. I know a lot of you like my foundation reviews because I know a lot of you like the sort of foundations that I like. So for me, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad at all. I didn't like how it looked at the start, but again, like I said, once I had it on for like half an hour or so, it was looking better. Better, but I'm still, I'm, I still don't understand the crazy hype that's just been going around like everywhere. It's good, I like the idea, I like the concept of it being like a balm and everything, and I see loads of good points about it, but the way it performed on my skin, it's not my fave basically. I'd probably give it like a 6.5 out of 10, like how it is overall. When I first had it on my face, I'd probably give it like a 4, 4.5. But wearing it for a little while, it did get a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say overall, it's kind of like a 6.5 out of 10 for me. I feel like I could maybe squeeze it to like a 7, 7.5. It's not my favorite. I get that people like it. I see that I could like it, but I don't see me loving it. Like, I don't think it's gonna be like a new holy grail or anything like that. It did wear really well though. Like, I will give it that. I'll give it a lot of things actually. I think I think it's a really cool concept and I, I'm, based, I'm just a bit butthurt that it didn't work on me because I believe all the other people who said that it worked for them um, just didn't work on me. That's all. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Good Apple Foundation by KVD Beauty. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you've tried it. I've already spoken to so many of you that have tried it and loved it. So feel free to leave your own little reviews in the comments. And like I said earlier, I feel like I've said it a few times. I'm sorry if I'm just like, throwing it down your throats. But if you do want to watch me stream, I do stream quite regularly and I bloody love it. It's just, I can just chat to you guys in real time and it's just fun. Sometimes I don't just stream games. Sometimes I just chat and eat my dinner and just talk to you. So yeah, if you do want to follow me on Twitch, I will leave a link to it down below alongside the foundation, alongside a whole load of stuff. I, I feel really bad saying this. I've had a lot going on recently. Um, a lot of very exciting things and a lot of just kind of stress. So I am going to be taking my videos down to two videos a week, not permanently, maybe permanently. Basically, instead of Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, I'm going to be uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays now, I think, as long as I don't change my mind. But yeah, I'll be doing those days for definite and then I'll probably sprinkle in one, maybe even two videos like extra some weeks. But as you guys know, with this new camera, with like the macro, with everything, it takes like 16 hours at least half the time to do videos like this and it's a lot and I wasn't sleeping and I need to sleep otherwise I look like I'm dying. So if you hear me saying in the next few videos that I am uploading on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, they are just because they are pre-filmed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays now. If you guys like it, I can always change it and everything. Maybe more uploads, but always two videos a week. And if you're not already sick of me, then like I said, you can check me out on Twitch. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload every Wednesday and Saturday now. Have to think about that. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. I don't know what I was doing with my hands then. Bye. Like karate chopping. I need to put these nails back on. They're disturbing me. I've got like short little fingers. Okay, I'm gonna go and eat a huge bar of galaxy chocolate that's been sitting in my fridge for the past few days. Bye.